What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Group Games. Going to be playing a game on BTCGO today, and I've got a fun deck that I'm going to be showing off in expanded format. This is Vespa Queen Zeb Strika. Little expanded format list that I cooked up here. It's fun. It is definitely struggles with the degeneracy of expanded format a little bit. That being said, we're going to see if we can steal some wins here. Zeb Strika is great for Vespa Queen. Allows you to discard your hand and draw four cards once during your turn. Vespa Queen of course does more damage for the amount of Pokemon you have in the discard pile, so they really go well together. If you're getting Karen or anything like that, you can continue to discard your hand and just pitch Pokemon into the discard pile, no problem. Also playing Talonflame in here, because I don't know, why not? It's fun, okay? So we've got Talonflame. We start Talonflame all the time with this list, and if you don't believe me, case in point happens all the time, but it's fun. I don't know, Talonflame is a great card, obviously goes really well in Greninja, kind of used to be played in Greninja decks uh, in the past, but really a, I don't know, kind of a card that can see play in Vespa Queen as well, just because it's great when you start it and Vespa Queen just pitches Pokemon into the discard pile anyway, so you won't really miss it, you know. Uh, or it won't really clog up your hands too much, especially since you're just going to be sprinting your hands away, and you really turn through your hands very easily with this deck. Now, as I had mentioned previously, Vesper Queen does have some problems in expanded format. First and foremost, Blastoise. Now, you would think the Blastoise would be a great matchup for Vesper Queen. Obviously, they're weak to grass. Uh, you have some, you know, they're GX Pokemon generally, and you have non-GX Pokemon generally. It's not that simple though. It's actually kind of horrible. They could do things like Malstorm GX you with Kingdra. I've had that happen. Turn one against me where they just do 40 damage to my whole field, knock out like three combis, take three prizes. Absolutely horrible. I've been dual splashed or whatever that move is by Kyogre EX, 50 damage to two Pokemon. That's happened to me turn one all the time, which is also really sad. If your opponent goes second, uh, they could start Articuno, take two prizes on a combi very easily. And and uh, when your opponent just takes two prizes on a combi with an Articuno turn one, uh, it's very hard to come back from that, honestly. They're promoting a non-GX that you kind of have to deal with. Uh, and then even if you like are trading even with Vespa Queen and uh, Vespa Queen and a uh, and a Articuno, right? And you're like kind of on point. You're doing what you need to do. They can still just flip two heads on Articuno and take out a Vespa Queen, easy. And that's sad as well. I think expanded format is just incredibly degenerate. There are so many different degenerate strategies that you can utilize. You just need to pick the most degenerate one and try your best. I think Blastoise is quickly proving itself to be one of the most degenerate strategies there is. Uh, absolute insanity. Without Hex Maniac to keep this deck in check, it could very easily just spread energy wherever it wants on the field, turn one, and attack with whoever it wants, you know, as, as early as turn one. And there are just a plethora of very good water Pokemon to select from in expanded format. Obviously, we've got Caldeo EX with that Russian ability and Secret Sword, kind of a staple in the Blastoise archetype. But we've also got the likes of Palkia GX finding its way, Kingdra GX finding its way, Wishiwashi, uh, just a ton of different stuff. Another problem for this deck is not actually Zerosic. I think Zerosic is less good now, but Faba. Faba is a huge problem for a lot of decks that only play four double colorless energy. I think this is a huge thing that we'll see come up at the Anaheim Regional Championships. There's that Kingdra I told you about. Maelstrom GX. Insanity. I'm just like having, oh my gosh, I just had the worst experience uh, testing against Blastoise last night with my Vespa Queen deck. My poor Vespa Queen deck. My hopes were so high. But it just got uh, run over by Blastoise in testing and just uh, kind of crushed my dreams. That being said, Vesper Queen's a lot of fun. I want to show it off for you guys so that you can see a new way to build Vesper Queen. I do love Vesper Queen as an archetype. I just think that expanded format might be just a little bit too degenerate for Vesper Queen. Look how long I've been talking. My opponent's turn has not ended yet. How long are we into the video? They have a stage two Pokemon in play. They're going to accelerate energy into play. They're not even done doing that. They get to propagate all this crazy stuff. You know, it's just, uh, this is the, the, the status of expanded format right now. 
Uh, potentially, instead of Talonflame, I should just be playing Wobbuffets, just four Wobbuffets, and hoping that I start one of those, I guess. It's just uh, kind of a, you know, just a nightmare trying to deal with ability decks like this. And then, so Blastoise, completely busted deck, you know, super degenerate. Then you also have, like, Zoro Control, which is completely busted and degenerate as well. Uh, and now that Zoro Control has Faba, you could easily just, like, you know, just, yeah, I feel, I wanted to say exile or purge, right? Uh, lost zone. You can just lost zone everybody's, you know, energy. Just all four energy sends them, send them to the lost zone, and then you just lose. So that's, uh, that is crazy as well. And I'm interested to see how players adapt to the newfound degeneracy of expanded format, running wild with all of these abilities and things like that. Uh, it's been you know, quite a trip trying to keep this format in balance, I think, if I had to say so myself. Let's go. All right, we're going to take our turn. We're going to see if we can actually hang with this Blastoise deck. Now, there have been times where I just run Blastoise over. Don't get me wrong. It's not like a total loss, right? Like, there have been some good showings from my deck, for sure. Like, I have made it happen. Uh, it just uh, sometimes gets rough out here, all right? So we're going to get a Combi for starters, and we've got the Unknown as well. We'll bench that Combi down, DCE onto Talonflame and Sycamore. Pretty solid stuff so far, and that is great. This is perfect. Okay, so we've got ourselves more combis. That's what we need, just in case they, I don't know, Malstorm me or something. If they Malstorm me, it's uh, it's all bad. I also need to Battle Compressor my Mime here and Rescue Stretcher it back, just in case they try to Malstorm me, right? Uh, that's just, you know, that's how immediate the situation is. That's, uh, you know, Code Red just in case we get Malstorm. They've got a low hand, you never know, it could happen. So we're gonna do that, and then we're going to Rescue Stretcher that guy back, put the Combi down, so that's like pretty cool actually. And yeah, let's get the Mr. Mime, thank you. And put the Combi down, I've got the Zeb Striker for next turn, and I get to Arrow Blitz turn one. Like this is a very powerful turn one. Right, like this is very good. Uh, the Vespa Queen deck, I'm telling you, is not like actually bad. It's just that every other deck is way too broken. You know, like the Vespa Queen deck is definitely strong. Uh, it's just every other single deck is so completely, utterly busted that it's just hard to keep up. I'll probably get these guys. Um, let's see, I need to probably play Execute in this deck. Like, I definitely need to play Execute in this deck as well. I just keep forgetting to put it in. So, you know, for the next game, we could tuck a, an Execute in here, and that would probably be okay. Let's see, what do I actually have in the discard pile? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, let's see, we could, uh, yeah, Battle Compressor and probably a Battle Compressor and a DC. Why? Well, Actually, yeah, I don't have a lot of DCs. So we'll get Battle Compressor and a DC. That seems fine. We'll do that. And this uh, this dude actually should be super easy for us to knock out because he's got some damage on him already. So, like, I'm feeling pretty cool here. Um, I could... I kind of just need to, like, sprint into a Vespa Queen. I probably could have, like, gotten that Arrow Blitz hand to be a little bit different if I had, you know, gotten maybe the Vespa Queen instead. But then either way, what I want is to hit Guzma and an attack next turn. That's what I want. I want to hit Guzma and an attack with a Vespa Queen. So I could have just gotten Battle Compressor. No, because I needed a Battle Compressor in order to get the Guzma in the discard pile. So I, I had to get Battle Compressor, and then I had to get DC. So I think, like... I kind of was just hoping that I would be able to sprint into another piece of that. But sprint is, like, super cool for this deck. I mean, this is, like, this is a great ability. This is exactly what you want. Just one Pokemon who sits on the bench and allows you to just eject your hand and draw four new cards every turn. It's exactly what you want, especially if you're getting Karen or item locked, things like that. Zeb Strika is your hero, and I play a very thick Zeb Strika line because I just want it out turn two every single game. It's kind of like that, you know, just what takes this deck 
to the next level. Unfortunately, the next level for Vespa Queen is still just like leagues below where like Blastoise and Zoro Control are at. It is and like Trevenant, right? They're all up here in the clouds, and there is just no reaching them because of how you know completely degenerate the decks can be. Um, there's just so much that Blastoise can do every single turn, being able to go in with Articuno, you know, the Kingdra, uh, you know, obviously Caldeo, they don't really care about status conditions. There's just so much. And once they set that board up turn one, it's just so easy. This is actually looking like a matchup I feel completely confident in. I think we're going to win this one, no problem. Uh, they're promoting a Caldeo now. They're not even, you know, flipping three heads to knock out my Talonflame with a... Uh, with an Articuno, which is what I uh, unfortunately have just come to expect from that deck. So we do have the Guzman as well, but I have an easy knockout here. I just need to find myself a Vespa Queen, which shouldn't actually be that hard considering that I'm about to Battle Compressor and Sycamore, and then I also have Sprint. We just have a lot of options to draw cards here. So I will discard probably the Shaman, and then I don't really think that I'll need any of these other Zeb Strikas now that I've set up my one. So let's Let's just get rid of those and then Sycamore draw seven new cards and with the option of it being 11 with that sprint attack we've got the Vespa Queen or sprint ability we've got the Vespa Queen very good I could make my opponent shuffle draw some cards there with the Marsh Shadow but I don't necessarily think that I need to do that yet I will just go you know kind of at all costs get that other Vespa Queen into play though I definitely want to do that because uh, who knows if my opponent's going to Malstorm GX or something like that. I need to evolve up as many of these guys as I can. So I could, uh, let's see, do I have a DC in the discard pile? I do. I'll wait till that other one goes down. So we are going to Ultra Ball or just, yeah, yeah we'll just we'll just revitalize her. That's fine. Get the one Vespa Queen back. Evolve our bench dude here. And then I should be doing plenty of damage. Let's figure that out. I'm doing 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm doing 130 times 2 because of the grass weakness. Let's just be revenge for knockout here. We'll save our other resources in our hand. Now we should be cool. Like I think at this point, actually having a Caldeo promoted against me feels insane uh, with Blastoise. I don't think I've ever been attacked with Caldeo. It's always been just getting my dreams crushed by Articuno and like tons of heads flips and Malstorm GX and all of that. So feeling pretty confident here it's uh you know it's been a wild ride in all my testing i was up till like uh 2 a.m testing against blastoise last night it was just like absolutely dumbfounded by how powerful the deck was it is just a complete and utter powerhouse being able to take on decks like vespa queen you would think that vespa queen just should be a good matchup against blastoise but goodness gracious they really really give you a run for money with all the different options that they have speaking of different options here's a palkia gx they got that zero vanish which is super cool because they can just decimate uh, someone's board position with that right so like imagine like you think Ray is good, right? Ray Quaza GX seems super good. You know, uh, it's got some potential in expanded format. And then you just get zero vanished, right? With a choice ban, 180 damage, knock out a Ray, shuffle all their energy back into their deck. Dude, the deck is completely ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. Like the deck is just way too good for words, right? Just being able to, you know, decimate an entire board position, uh, you know, with a single attack, very very powerful being able to trade with non-gx attackers with a uh, with Articuno is just absolutely insanity. Uh, being able to snipe, it could play like a spread deck if it wants to as well. And my opponent promoting another Grass Week Pokemon, making this just pretty easy on me here. Uh, I've got you know plenty of good cards in my hand, so no problems there. I'll just Sycamore Battle Compressor, make sure that my hand is as thin as possible make sure the deck is as thin as possible here we don't need any of that stuff so we'll just battle compressor that and then i've got computer search i've got sprint like we should be cool to hit this dce here i'd be stunned if we did and but you know let's not speak too soon let's see i've got 11 cards in deck we could fumble here which would be bad uh but i i should be all right i've got computer search in there as well I do not want to get rid of my final two um, Versus Seekers, but I will 
because that kind of just seems what we have to do. So let's battle compressor again, take a look at what's actually in the deck here. Um, that's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got rescue stretcher, we've got revitalizer, I've got two special charge, one DCE only, and the computer search. So I don't actually have a ton of options to hit the cards that I need. I guess uh, getting rid of the Ultra Ball is probably good. The Escape Board's probably not needed, though. Actually, I kind of want to keep that just in case. I don't know. You never really know. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, cool. And then we are also going to need to get rid of, like, that Vespa Queen. I've got plenty of cards to get cards back. Uh, I guess I should have, you know, discarded another card, Ultra Balled for something else. Could have Ultra Balled for the... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Let's just, we got a sprint. Okay, let's go sprint here. We're going to see four cards. We just need like one or the other. Uh, there's the special charge and the comp search. Okay, so let's see here. I think we just special charge. Yeah, so let's throw the two DC back into the deck. And then I can uh, farewell letter and I might just get one which would be cool, and if I don't, then I need to computer search for one. And I should be playing Execute in the list. There's no excuse. I just definitely should be. I just keep forgetting it. There's the DCE, so we're cool here. We're going to take two more prizes. But as you can see, I've completely vanquished all my resources. That's, like, not really a good thing here because I could just kind of get stuck, which would be really bad uh, with this deck. And you can see how kind of frail the setup is, right? I'm down just all four Versus Seekers down. Uh, I was thinking that this deck might also benefit from playing like, uh, you know, a resource management Orangaroo as well. As funny as that is, it just, uh, your resources really get low very quickly, especially with Zebstrika in play, because it's just uh, such a powerful draw card. It is very destructive, though. So, yeah, here comes my opponent with the Articuno. I do have an option to, like, knock out the Articuno. That's cool. I could do that, uh, and then I could just knock out whoever for game. i got to hope that my opponent flips two tails on this thing. If my opponent flips two heads on Articuno uh, and knocks out a Vespa Queen, and then I just trade and knock that out, and then my opponent does it again, then they just win. And you can see, even though uh, I am like so far ahead as far as like the game is, uh, they could just win with back-to-back -back Articunos. Yeah. Because I don't have access to Versus Seeker anymore, and we kind of trashed that and, yeah resource. So that was uh, that was bad. I need to jam and execute in here. That's for sure. It would help me save some of those resources most definitely. So I will do that. Uh, that would be super cool. I also considered a I considered Mysterious Treasure in the deck as well, just because it could go get, like, I don't know, can get, like, unknowns and, and the Mr. Mine, but, uh, and also discards cards. It gets you a Lele as well. But that ends up like just not being worth it. You draw into your Pokemon just fine. The Talon Flames are like super goofy. That's probably not necessary. They're just like for fun. I don't know. I like Talon Flame, but you could ditch that. You could play a 2 2 Flareon line in here if you wanted to. Easy. That would be like no problem. But I haven't really had any issues keeping Vespa Queens attacking. My major issue with the deck is that just other things, right? Other other stuff. The deck draws very aggressively. You can keep Vespa Queens in play very easily. You can keep a lot of Pokemon in the discard pile very easily. We got 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're doing 210 damage right now with plenty of Pokemon on in play so that hasn't been an issue for me either it's been like by and large the problem with this deck has just been its own resources has been getting your energy loss zone has been getting sniped you know item lock with trevenant and things like that there's just like too many threats uh really in expanded format that a uh, deck that's kind of like a glass cannon like vespa queen you know feels Maybe a little bit too frail, um, you know, in order to deal with it. A deck like Night March, yeah, Night March has its own issues as well, but at least Night March, like, can just overcome some of those by being so fast and aggressive, taking turn one knockouts, like, every single game, right? That's what Night March does. That's what Night March does best. And Vespa Queen is just a little bit slower, and it might be too slow. Uh, in order to deal with that. Looks like my opponent might be going for Guzma here. If they were able to power up the Articuno, yeah, and then Guzma up Combi. See, that's like pretty bad for me, and potentially I shouldn't have even benched that Combi, 
But as long as they flip one heads, yeah, they're good. And I haven't had an Articuno flip three tails versus me in the last 24 hours. That just hasn't happened. So that is like game losing scenarios for Articuno when that happens, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. So we're going to try to, I guess, just knock out the Articuno and probably end my opponent. I don't really want to draw more cards, but that's probably just what we got going on. That's cool. I don't want to put any other Pokemon into play. So let's comp search, take a look here. I do have N, so I'll just probably play that. See, I've got three cards in the deck. Um, so then I would N, and so I have five cards total. I would draw two. Yeah, that's cool. We'll do it. And then let's just hope that my opponent doesn't uh, have the cards they need to win the game next turn. I'm not going to Rescue Stretcher or anything else. This 70 hit point Mr. Mime, they're going to need to flip two heads with an Articuno to knock that out. I'll put my energy into play just so that I kind of have it here no matter what. And yeah, that's, that's that. But you can see, like... This game has been pretty great for me. Like I every I set up exactly how I needed to. My opponent promoted two GX Pokemon against me and it's still a close game. Like they still could just win here. All they have to do is get some, there they go. All they have to do is get uh, two heads on this Articuno and it's game. That's it, the game's just out of my control. There's nothing I can do to prepare for that. I could not have done almost anything better uh, the only thing that could have gone better for me, I guess, is if I just had the one turn where I hit the DCE. Yes, the deck, Natalie's been like kind of telling me that I need to play teammates in the deck. And she's right. I need to be playing teammates. If I had been playing teammates that one turn, um, I probably would have been able to search out my DCE with teammates instead of just like butchering all of my versus seekers. And then I could have just won that way. So we probably need, we just need to put teammates back in the deck. I was playing teammates, and then I decided that I needed an N, so then I took out the N. I could just ditch a Sycamore for a teammates and play three Sycamore. That's probably totally fine. This is still a work in progress, so we are still very much working on the list here. And you guys ready for this? This is uh, going to be the kind of flip of the century here to see if my opponent can win the game with their Articuno. They need two heads. Please just, please, please don't. Just no there you go three heads why not okay that's it that's expanded format good stuff <laughs> oh my gosh ah uh, okay so let's let's throw teammates in here and then let's uh let's take a look at the list a little bit that is see like everything went right for me and we still lost because the articuno is too crazy i can't even handle it that is too much uh, we need to play a deck that could just hit the GX's every single turn. And yeah, we were almost there. We just had that one turn where the cards just, you know, we hit the, we missed the DCI. If I don't have to sprint that hand away, if I don't have to sprint that hand away with my two versus Seekers in it, then we just win that game because we can easily target down a GX for game. So that is a little bit, that hurts, right? That hurts. So that's like where we're at here with this list. I think we just take out a Sycamore, put a teammates in for sure. And yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll kind of work with that and we'll roll one more game. And like I said, this deck is fun. Uh, but some of the other decks in expanded format are just way too degenerate. Uh, it's just not not really fair man it's not really fair all right cool so we're gonna throw the teammates in there and we're just gonna ship the list again try one more time here on ptcgo and see what we can do i think like we showed off the deck pretty well that last game did everything we were supposed to do we just got back to back articuno and we just couldn't quite handle it but that's exactly what blastoise does and they do it very well uh, every single time that a, an articuno has needed to knock out a vespa queen they've got it against me in the last 24 hours it has just been like it has been an abysmal experience and i can't say that enough so anyways i'm done complaining all right that's cool we're gonna roll expanded format again i'm just like kind of bummed because i have to head out to anaheim i'm excited to go to anaheim i'm really excited about it but expanded format is just like oh such a headache um trying to find out you know something that can keep up with some of these top decks now you could easily just i could just play blastoise you know i could just play uh i i can't play zoro control i'm not gonna do that to myself let's be honest but 
could play Blastoise, you know, if you can't beat him, join him, you know, that, or you try to figure out some sort of, you know, super kind of deck that just, I don't know, that can combat it. This is a weird starting hand, sure enough. We throw the one teammates in our deck, and now we've got just a horrible starting hand, but that's all good. We can unknown our way out of this. We're going to be fine. We're playing against some sort of water deck here. This is Greninja. That's great. Uh, <laughs> and I'm being facetious. Not actually great. Um, we used to play Sharon. Uh, that's interesting. I used to play the Giratina promo in here. You could easily take, you could easily put the Giratina promo back in. I just hadn't played against Greninja in a while, so I got kind of greedy and I took it out. But oh, is this what in the world is this deck? All right, I take it all back. I have no idea what I'm playing against here. But yes, Giratina promo could go in the deck. You know, might not go in the deck. I don't know. Probably belongs in here just because it's a good extra odd Pokemon that you can play. This is just a baseline list. You know, this is just kind of a, a place to start if you're interested in looking at Expanded with Zeb Strika in Expanded format. We've got a Battle Compressor. All right. So this is cool because I can Battle Compressor away two Combies. Um, and yep, one of them guys, that's fine. So we'll do that and then let's unknown again and see if we can't get ourselves anything else. Oh, we've got a Zeb Strika. So we have, uh, we have done it. We've got a decent start here. That's not a problem. Cool. And I'm ready to go here. Turn two, we're going to be doing some things. We're going to sprint and we're going to do some things. I'm hoping that this Blitzel gets knocked out think that I just attached my DCE to the combi just in case. Um, I'm actually fully expecting this to be some sort of like crazy Frogadier deck and then like uh, or Greninja GX deck and then I'm just going to get my combi double sniped and it's going to be horrible and then I should have attached to the Blitzel instead and that's probably just like what we're looking at here. We've got Lady. My opponent's going to go get some water energies. Who in the world knows what is about to happen here? in this matchup we you know we just need to get up and rolling hopefully my opponent just calls collect that's just what i that's just what i want i just want them to call collect i have been so oh, here we go gale shuriken all right yeah we knew it was greninja gx i should have known that's fine here goes the combi get out of here so i've just had a miserable time i always get this to this point right where I think heading into an expanded event, I'm like, oh yeah, Vespa Queen, busted deck, it's gonna be fantastic. And then just like, dreams crushed. All right, gotta figure out something else. I was even trying out Buzzrock though, and I really like Buzzrock in expanded format. It did really well for me last year, but oh, thank gosh, our uh, combi hung in there. That is uh, that is wild. Okay, very good. So let's uh, let's sprint here and let's do that, and then let's go with the sprint all right and then hopefully we draw into some things to be allowing us to do some things all right both special charge about to be down that is like not what we want at all i also need to put egg in here you guys let me go through without putting egg in here that's bad but um i think yes yes because if i had the egg in here i would be able to make this turn happen no problem i just forgot the egg so uh, I could go get another Zeb Strika, um, but then I can't sprint with a zero card hand. So this is like not good here. I think we just need to, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Battle Compressor, um, that's fine. I could just wait till next turn. Uh, I think I could Battle Compressor away and then just probably retreat this thing, honestly. So let's just Battle Compressor away one, two, and then also, you know, something else we don't need, like a Blitzel. I think we've got two Blitzel in play. Yeah, we don't need those. That's fine. So we're going to ship those. And then we could just retreat. We're going to see we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This thing's got 190 hit points. So we're short, is what you're saying. Uh, we are short 10. Uh, so I'm doing nine. See, uh, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just a little bit short. So that's sad, but that's fine. We'll just uh, retreat here, and then we're just going to go, and we're going to uh, intelligence gathering. It's just what we're going to do. So we're going to hit you for weakness there, bud, and we're going to draw till we have six cards in our hand. Bet you haven't done that in a while. 
That's rough. All right, so you need to throw executes in here. That's on the to-do list. Probably take out the Talon Flames. Those have been, uh, they're fun, you know? They're fun. I like having fun. <laughs> That's why I'm playing a Vespa Queen deck. But yeah, you got to take out the Talon Flames and do something a little bit better with them. You could play like the Busybody, uh, the Adino. That's kind of cool because you can heal special conditions against a deck like Shocklock, which is pretty neat. And Rescue Stretcher for them back, which is super good. Uh, you can also, um, you can also play, like I said, the Flareon line you could play. You could play the Giratina promo, which is also good. You could play Ditto Prism Star, and you could play Machoke. I also don't have choice bands in here, but I'm playing 30 Pokemon, uh, which is another thing that my friends have been kind of laughing at me that I got 30 Pokemon in this deck. But I don't know. You want to sprint them away. Like, you just want to play a lot of Pokemon, in my opinion. But, you know, Pokemon have a lot of hit points now. It's hard to hit that. So, I don't know. You could play less Pokemon, more Choice Bands. You know, Choice Band might have been good there if we'd hit it. Execute, exe execute would have just, like, completed that that problem for us. So we probably just need to take out the four Talent Flames, take those out, put in two Execute, and then whatever else you want uh, in those last two, spot, in the last two spots. And then the deck probably just gets infinitely better. So that's something to test out as well. But like I said, I just made this list. I've been testing it a little bit this week, so I'm still kind of working out the kinks of it. Now, this Vespa Queen is almost uh, sniped to death, so that's like kind of sad. Uh, my opponent, what do they do? They evolved into, what What in the world did they do? I don't really know how they did that. Okay, they evolved into Greninja with their Frogadier, and then they evolved into that. Okay, now they're going to bring up Zeb Stryka. Fantastic. I think that my Guzma's in the deck still, so that's cool. I can go knock something out. I can retreat, knock this out. That's cool. Uh, I think like this matchup should be totally fine for us i'm not super concerned we also need to let loose my opponent like most definitely so let's uh get ourselves another zeb strike uh, gonna get rid of the teammates that's fine my opponent doesn't really seem super keen on like taking traditional knockouts here so that's fine we're gonna do that and then let's special charge throw a dce back into the deck and we're gonna let loose my opponent with that giant hand. We don't really want that kind of going on, so let's do that. And then we can sprint a couple times. We just need to find a DCE to retreat with, um, or Guzma. Uh, Guzma works too, and I actually don't feel so bad about that. That actually seems way better. So we'll Guzma and then sprint, and we can knock out that annoying Greninja with the uh yeah that old thing going on so we can get rid of the striker we don't need and two and three all right so now we're doing tons of damage there guzma up that greninja with uh this guy hello there uh then we are going to sprint that's cool and see four new cards and we can even sprint again if we wanted to all right we've got tons of options here the battle compressor doesn't really need to happen let's just be revenge this thing get it out of here 320 damage that's cool and we've got plenty of draw cards for next turn plenty of ways to draw cards with zeb Strika. should be knocking out this lapras pretty easily and let's see we've got seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen pokemon in the discard pile so plenty to be dealing one hit knockouts i love the idea of decks like greninja gx i think that's super cool uh team water boys here uh now i wonder does team water boys is this a ptcgo account where they only play water decks i think that would be super fun right but i think there's a lot of different um you know, and it's a lot of fun to play a snipe deck like that with Greninja GX or, you know, of course, Landers, Crobat, or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, can be a little tough to get something that actually operates the way you need it to in expanded format with how completely, you know, kind of degenerate everything else is. So let's get rid of, uh, I think I actually, like, don't need Ultra Balls at this point, uh, which is kind of, you know, that's a kind of greedy play, but uh, I don't think that I actually need them, so gonna just get rid of those thin my deck like a lot uh and let's just end i do want to find combis obviously so like there we go we've got a combi we're fine and there's a vespa queen i just wanted to thin my deck and i figured with the end and two sprints like i'm gonna see almost my entire deck so i wasn't really concerned about those resources there 
And here we go. We got a rescue stretcher. I'm not going to play that yet. We're just going to be revenge for knockout on this dude. Go down to three prizes and continue chugging away. We've got the Mr. Mime and the Blitzel off the prizes there. And with 30 Pokemon, you guys can see I actually can fit like a ton of. Uh, I can get a, like a lot of Pokemon in the discard pile while still having like an established board with Zebstrika and everything. It's not really tight, which I like. That's something that you get with a lot of Vespaqueen decks is that the, it just feels tight, right? Like you're barely hanging on. You got like your one Combi on the bench and like just like that one Pokemon in the discard pile that you need for the knockout. And like uh, sometimes you run out of attackers and it gets just very, very tight and chaotic with your attacks and stuff. So um I think like it's nice playing 30 Pokemon. You feel like you got plenty of Pokemon in the deck to discard. That being said, it's not exactly perfect. Like you could probably play 28. I feel like you need to play closer to 28 in a format like this where the Pokemon just have more hit points now than they used to have. But you know, you don't necessarily need to. So let's take a look at our recovery cards left in the deck. I still got plenty of recovery cards, but I do need to actually be careful of my energy. Like I'm kind of out. I'm out both special charge. This is my third DCE, so like we could just lose this game um, because of uh, not having the things that we need here. So let's uh, put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. We're just gonna go grab that uh, that Vespa Queen there to do that, and then I'm cool just uh, just sprinting or just Sycamore in here. We'll just Sycamore. Uh, actually, we can teammates. Do I have the teammates in the discard pile? Oh yeah, I can get teammates. That would be great. Um, there we go. So now is teammates time. Let's go get that teammates and let's do that. Uh, we'll do short. And we get to actually just get the things that we exactly need in order to take the uh, take the game here. So we're going to get one of those combis and we're going to get our other DCE as well. And that way, yeah, for the future turns, I can kind of just, uh, you know, make the rest happen. We can actually just get like a, probably the combi and a Versus Seeker. Oh, I need to get, I have Vespa Queen in the active. All right, we're good on that. Cool, so we'll get Combi and a Versus Seeker. That way, like, I can just teammates again if this thing happens to go down, or I can Guzma. The Comp Search is probably good. I can just like, that could be anything. Why not get the Comp Search? That's fine. Put the Combi down, and then we'll just attack here. And then we gotta hope that my opponent just doesn't have, uh, you know, doesn't have a way to knock out this Vespa Queen next turn. I think it should be pretty tough for them. But, you know, they've only got a Frogadier in play. They could, I guess they could whoop up some magic. I don't actually think so. Their deck seems like kind of intent on just drawing straight from the deck. They've got Collect, they've got Sharon, and then they want to just snipe around and, you know, take knockouts with Lapras in combination with uh, Shuriken stuff, which is super neat. It's a lot of fun to see. They're evolving into the Frogadier and then evolving into that other Greninja there that I haven't seen in a while. The Water Shuriken Greninja, which snipes 30 every turn, which is super cool, right? Because they get to snipe 20, then snipe 30. So it seems like it's actually kind of, you know, in some ways is, is stronger, I guess, than, um, in some ways is stronger than potentially Let's see, are they knocking this guy out? I think they're a little bit short. And, you know, maybe stronger than Greninja GX. Though Greninja GX just has a ton of hit points. It's a super cool, right, uh, for that. So they're going to scoop it up. We got it there. Uh, I will run just one more game here with the Vespa Queen deck. We're going to give it one more shot and see what we can do. We're going to put executes in, though. So we're going to go do that. I'm, gonna, I, I'm telling you the Talent Flames are cool. They're great starters when you start it, but... Let's uh, let's go ahead and jam some eggs in here. We'll, we'll just take out the Town Flames for now. That's fine, but the Town Flames were an idea, all right? If you want to run it, you can. Go ahead. Don't tell anybody. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't run Town Flames <laughs> in that Vest McQueen deck. We're going to throw a couple executes in here so we can stop being bad. And then, I don't know, you guys want to play the, uh, we can play the Blockade. Your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand during the next turn. Right? Surprise blockade, resist water, pretty cool. I uh, just don't think that's going to end up doing it for us. Yeah, a couple copies of Egg, that's good. And then we can also play probably like that Giratina you want to play is probably just, you know, fine. So you probably just play that thing too just to stop your opponent's breaks abilities. 
And then uh, you could play like a Ditto Prism Star in here, which is probably fine too, just to give you like an extra starter. Yeah, it's not like a real Pokemon. It goes to Lost Zone, but like you're probably best off just jamming a Ditto Prism Star in here. Making the list look something like that. That's another way to play it. Seems fine. Cool. Gucci. Let's, uh, let's rock that one time and see how that goes. And then we're going to call this video a wrap. Okay. See what expanded format has in store for us. Ooh, one last time. All right, Vespa Queen. Let's go. Alrighty then. Uh, with the Vespa Queen deck, I call it. I call it Vespa Queen. I know it's Vespa Quinn. I hear that a lot. Uh, I get that a lot, for sure. But it's a. Uh, it's all good. I kind of like the Vespa Queen. I like calling it the Queen. The Queen Bee. But, you know, oh well. All right, so we are playing against a Water and Psychic deck. Apparently, they have the advantage. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that holds up. All right, we'll see. But let's see, they're going to be going first. That's fine. Hopefully, this is a starting hand. Unfortunately, dude, I'm telling you, you put a new card in the deck. I, you know, I was considering switching into uh, Floatstone because I put this two retreater in my deck and it's like the only two retreater in my deck. I was like, yeah, I mean, I should technically switch to Floatstone now, but I was like, oh, I'll keep the escape. What are the odds that I start Giratina? <laughs> uh, I think that this is like, this is something that I found though, is like messed up. Hilarious, by the way, because we're playing against a Greninja deck. <laughs> oh, I don't even feel bad anymore. This is fine. Um, but I was, uh, <laughs> they're just gonna, I wonder if they just are gonna fold. I think, like, this matchup feels like an auto win with Giratina in here. I think, like, we're just cool, so I don't even really mind. Though, it would have been super dope to get a Talonflame start, am I right? I know, right? I know. Yep. There we go. I'm gonna give him the good old smiley face there. I don't even really care if this Giratina sits in the active position forever, honestly. It should be just totally fine so we've got ourselves a pretty you know okay that's fine yep sick more of this hand you get both your eggs in the discard pile that's fantastic i don't mind that at all and we'll figure out a way to get that giratina out of the active position eventually he could take his jolly old time out there that's that's okay my you know i'm just glad that he's here for this matchup this should just be a kind of a tough matchup for my opponent i could take very easy one hit ko's on them i think that Sure, yeah, we'll we'll play a Blitz, although it doesn't really seem super necessary. And then just Sycamore, that old hand there. We are going to hope for a couple combies, and we got them. All right, so we'll do that, and then we're just going to retreat the Giratina, actually, into a combi so that next turn I can special charge that before using Sycamore again. And we should be kind of ready to rock and roll. We've got everything we need. My opponent's definitely not doing any damage to me. They're just going to water duplicates. And we can just continue onward. All right. So they finally they prized a Frogadier too. So sad. Oh, no. Um, so that's tough. It's fine. I do play another special charge. I don't want to have to do this. Let's see. We've got uh, one, two, three, four. I actually am fine just... Uh, you know, I could just take the knockout here, which is cool, and then maybe special charge later. Though I don't want to. Let's see here. We could just do this. I could special charge one into the deck. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're doing plenty of damage. Um, we don't. We don't need to be wasteful. Let's just. Let's just stay the course and do exactly what we need to do and nothing more. That's fine. I'm going to just try to be responsible and not actually just thrash my resources this game. Now, it's interesting because my opponent can't actually afford to Shadow Stitch. So I should just have access to my abilities like the entire game. Because if they try to Shadow Stitch me, then I'm just going to continue to be revenge, be revenge, be revenge. So that's like kind of rad as well. And I do like that. Having access to Sprint throughout the course of the game is going to be really cool. You guys like the Blitzels that I'm playing here, by the way. The you know, Boundaries Crossed Blitzel. Busted Blitzel. Take a look at that thing. Just love the artwork on it. I guess like I was looking for what's technically the best Blitzel, and I think that this one's pretty cool. I mean, he can attack with for a colorless, and it has 70 hit points, so I think he feels like the correct one. But 
you could really just play what if you're attacking with Blitzel, you're probably losing the game. You can really play whatever Blitzel you want. It doesn't actually matter. But I like the artwork on this Blitzel. I think it's pretty cool. He's got a nice little nice little lightning little horn there. That's super red. Alright, my opponent's got a sick one. They're playing a Lele down. That's a bold move there. I think uh, you know, that's kind of a love-hate relationship that Greninja decks have with Tapu Lele. They kind of need it for the boosting consistency. But nobody actually wants to put the Lele down. Yeah, they're just going to scoop it up. That's fine. And you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll rock one more. All right, one more. You guys are getting the bonus day today. You guys are getting bonus footage. Last game, four games. All right, last one. Even if my opponent scoops, that's it. We've got a Plasma Freeze Pack. That's pretty cool. You guys want to see the Plasma Freeze Pack? You want me to open it? All right, I'll open it. We'll do it. All right, let's go. Deck manager, it's not where it is. It's actually in the collection file. So we're going to go there. Collection. And let's crack that plasma freeze pack. See what we got going on in their packs. Uh, plasma freeze. All right, let's bust open that plasma freeze. Maybe we get like a golden card or some sort of... Pretty sure this is the one with the secret rare ultra balls in it. That could be a thing that we hit, which would be super cool. I don't know. We got an execute. That's a sweet card. Oh, we got a full art Juniper. I actually don't even have one of those. This is my first one. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Awesome. Good stuff. Hey, so sweet. Stoked on that. You guys got to see it there. Thank you for blessing me with all your good luck. Appreciate it. We are going to run one more. Uno mas. Let's go. One more. Uh, come on, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, let's get to it. You guys know the Door of the Explorer song? That's kind of what uh, reminds me of, you know. Uh, <laughs> when I'm when I, um, speaking Spanish, I think I've learned most of my Spanish from Door of the Explorer and then also my Spanish 1 class, which I didn't do very well in. But uh, as I've said in previous videos, I do wish that I knew more Spanish. That is something that I wish that I knew. Uh, however, I just unfortunately do not. Let's go in. My opponent's going first. Uh, we could start the Giratina, but, you know, just as kind of like a meat wall there, uh, which probably seems fine, honestly. But let's just let's just go in with the combi. Who knows what my opponent's doing. We'll Ultra Ball some things away. We're going to get, like, a Blitzel. We're going to get some other stuff, and it's going to be sweet. I'm telling you, man, if we just started... Oh, they've got, like fire energy they're probably playing a volcanian deck uh, if i had to guess by their volcanian attire that they have uh there that would be my suspicion is that there's an incoming volcanian situation yes i'd like to draw a card no i would not like to bench that egg go ahead yep here's a volcanian deck this should be pretty cool for me honestly something wholesome straightforward and not overly degenerate. I can beat that, okay? I can beat something that is not overly degenerate, but something like Blastoise or Zoro Control or just like something completely overly degenerate is just like not doable. You would think that like the ban list, banning things like Hex Maniac and Wally -E and Puzzle of Time would help with the degeneracy. It really just unlocked new levels of, <laughs> new tiers of degeneracy within expanded format. And we haven't even gotten to the fact that there's like unknown damage that's like a thing that people are talking about, right? Like unknown damage, there's unknown hand almost did well at uh, the last regional championships, just wild stuff. So that is crazy. Yep, we're gonna go get ourselves another combi. That's cool, because our first combi is definitely biting the dust, let's be honest. Then we're just gonna stick a more of that entire hand away. Goodbye, sir. Let's see some more stuff. I want a, yeah, we've got two unknowns. That's excellent. Then we also want to get a Blitzel into play. I have the DCE. I don't want to drop that yet. Let's just, uh, yeah, I want to get like a different card to, to Ultra Ball away. So that's cool. I like the Zeb Strike. I could Ultra Ball away Zeb Strike. I could also hang on to it. I don't really care either way. Yeah, we're Ultra Balling away the Zeb Strike. So let's get that. And then I don't necessarily want to, I like I know I have the egg in the discard pile. I kind of just wanted to pare the hand down. So that's like, that's what we were doing there. Let's see, we've got um, the let loose. So my opponent didn't really play a real supporter. So I'm just gonna get Blitzel. And then I think I just set up next turn. No real point in setting up this turn. I think I save the 
Uh, oh, Revitalizer. Oh, that's horrible, actually, in combination with Execute. If there was a reason ever not to play Execute, that was it. Um, yeah, because I'm going to get the Combi knocked out, and then I'm going to have to bring that back. So we're, like, not actually trying to do that. Let's just set up this turn, I think, and just see some more cards here just because... I want to. All right, we've got a skateboard. We've got Battle Compressor, Ditto, Prism Star. This is a beautiful hand here. We're ready to go. Now, I don't actually know what my opponent plays in the realm of, like, uh, you know, if they play Karen or anything. So we'll kind of see what they got in store for us there. But this hand is way better. So let's just pass to my opponent. And we can see what they are going to do now. They're uh, probably going to Power Heater, if I had to guess. Uh, they've got some nice holographic Heart Gold, Soul Silver energy there. Really like that. Those are some beautiful energy. Who are they going to knock out? Not my combi with the DCE. Leave him alone. All right, let's see. We got four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in the discard pile. All right, this thing's got a Fighting Fury. All right, you're asking a lot of me, guy. I don't know if I can actually hit all of that this turn. This might be a Sky Return turn. Let's see, you want me to do 230 damage. I need 21 Pokemon in the discard pile. Uh, I don't think I can do that. I don't think that I can do that at all. Um, but we could try. We could try. I think, uh, especially since I want to revitalizer that thing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all right, I'm feeling kind of sketchy about all that. I guess we'll put the. Yeah, we're going to put that up because we might, you know, we'll attach the escape board to it. So there's really no harm, no foul there. We've got teammates. Teammates is very good. Um, teammates is very good. So what we could do is we could teammates. This is kind of crazy. Let's see. We could battle compressor. Let's take a look at the deck here real quick and see what exactly we've got ourselves into i think i want to battle compressor away the other egg that seems good we're going to battle compressor away the other blitzel and we're going to battle compressor away the mr mime that all seems completely fine then we want to teammates and uh, we need to get probably Let's take a look here i could have okay i see what i should have done now i should have battle compressor away a we could teammates for like two battle compressors and then just ditch like a bunch more stuff. Let's see, if I teammates for two battle compressors. But then I also need a, okay, I also need like a sprint guy. So we would need to teammates for like battle compressor and a Zebstrika. And then we would need to sprint and hope we draw into more stuff, which is possible. I think I actually like keeping that Comey in the discard pile right now. I've got more recovery stuff. So let's just like, uh, yeah, let, it's possible. Let's just get like double battle compressor. Just ship a ton of stuff and go all in for it. So I think we're going to do that. Battle compressor and a, and a Zeb man. That's what, that's what we're getting. And that's cool. Okay. We'll do that. So then we're going to battle compressor again. Oh, now I can do it now that I have like fixed my line of play. Okay, so I don't like mine that too much. We can get this guy back. We could, you know, battle compressor that guy. Then battle compressor two other things, probably like boom, boom. We don't need those. So let's just battle compressor those. And then we can, re you know, revitalizer and get back our combi and our Vespa Queen. That's fine. Now I can evolve the Vespa Queen. So I have a guaranteed attack. But, um, yeah, we got here as well. We've got here. And then, you know, we can attach here. We can sprint. I could sky return. It's probably, like, a reasonable thing to do. But I want to just go for it. You know, we just want, like, we just want some action. So let's see what we can get here off of the sprint. And we might be able to sprint again. You never know. We've got Rescue Stretcher. Uh, we've got another Zebstrika in the discard pile. So I could go and Rescue Stretcher. Let's see, I can special charge. Is that my second special charge or is that my first? That's my first special charge. So we could special charge again as well. And I could sprint again. That's only my f second versus Seeker. So we could do it. Let's see, how many Pokemon do I have now? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I would need like way more. It's like I'm not even close. 13, uh, 14, because um, I would be discarding the Vespa Queen. 
14, and then I need like seven more. There's no way all that's happening this turn. So we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of hold our horses here, and we're just going to try and two-hit KO. This Turtonator, that's fine. Uh, we're like, you know, super far off there. Uh, I did take 80 damage back from that, but it's fine. It's not actually a knockout, so that's okay. We just need to be a little bit more patient. Needed to not grind through all of my resources this turn. And my opponent's just going to shell trap me again. They don't have like a whole lot going on, so that's fine. I could just go up with the combi here. We'll evolve into Vespa Queen, rescue stretcher some things back into the deck, you know, be a little bit more wholesome with our uh, resource management this game. And then we can also just teammates. So like that teammates is looking pretty good right now, honestly. Shout out to Natalie. She knows everything. She was telling me to put the teammates in the deck. She was right. We had to put the teammates in the deck a long time ago, but I was being stubborn. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then we get to special charge. We're definitely doing that. Let's throw those back into the deck. We can, um, let's attach this here. We can rescue stretcher and throw probably the combi and the other thing back into the deck. That's fine. We'll just, uh, yeah, we'll rescue stretcher and just get a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. We're just gonna get that probably, yeah, that combi back. And then let's see what else do we got down. Okay, so we're cool on resources too. That's fine. We're gonna go in that and teammates for a couple of things. Let's just get like I don't know a couple of unknowns. Honestly, let's just like pitch those and draw some more cards. Uh, I kind of just wanna, yeah, just wanna see some more stuff. I don't wanna let loose my opponent. I just wanna throw some more Pokemon in the discard pile so that I can kind of just yeah get some more things going on so I'll just pitch both these unknowns and then we are gonna sprint as well so that we can just see more stuff that's cool got the Mars shadow so we can you know get rid of that with sprint as well refresh our hand with some new stuff I'm not gonna sprint now that I have that DCE so we'll just uh, yeah just stay calm be revenge cool stuff 180 damage kind of at that point that we want to be at with our B revenges now. My opponent is at four prizes too, though. They have taken some pretty quick prizes, but all they have is a single Volcanion in play. So, oh, okay, apparently there's more. So this is cool because I could just Guzma up and knock out Volcanion EXs right now. So that's going to be the kind of game plan. That's like what we're going for. Let's uh, promote the combi there. I think I, you know, I know I'm doing 180 damage. Let's see what we got. Do I have Guzma in the discard pile? Uh, I believe that I do. Yes, I do. So we've got Guzma in the discard pile. I don't, I have an Ultra Ball in my hand as well, so I can actually just make it happen. Let's prop, and we're going to propagate once and propagate twice. We're going to go get Vespa Queen out the deck, and yeah, then we're going to Guzma knock that thing out. Might even let loose too, all in the same turn. We've got the DCE already. The executes are really good with Vespa Queen. That's just great. So definitely love that. Get the Vespa Queen out of here. That's cool. Bring up the Volcanion with the two energy on it, please. We'd love to do that. And yeah, let's burst a Seeker. Grab me the Guzma, please. And then I don't want to sprint. I actually just want to kind of marsh out to see different cards. I could get another Vespa Queen into play. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm fine with it. We'll just say a shuffle draw four. See a little bit of a bigger hand here. Hopefully, yep, get the other Vespa Queen. This is pretty much exactly what I want. And now we just need to take one more knockout on a GX to win the game. We've drawn very smoothly this game. Everything that we've needed to happen has kind of happened in the right order. So that's been very good. And just be revenge for knockout here. 200 damage. Good stuff. And, you know, from here on out, the damage is only escalated. You know, we've got more Pokemon that we can send to the discard pile. We can sprint to dig for our final Versus Seeker. For our final Guzma, we know that Versus... Actually, do we know the Versus Seeker's in deck? I think we know the Versus Seeker's in deck, right? I think I let loose a Versus Seeker away. So we know that that is in deck and just, you know, will allow us to win the game. On that final Volcanion EX... That's going to wrap things up for the Vespa Queen Zeb Strike deck. This has been uh, an adventure, to say the least, as far as, you know, constructing this deck and then also just trying to figure out where it fits 
in the expanded metagame trying to even just wrap my head around the expanded metagame has been like a complete you know kind of nightmare uh the last couple days i've got finals coming up in my graduate class i've got work to do uh, here at full grip and i've got to figure out the expanded metagame all you know before all before December 14th, so that is, uh, or some, yeah, that weekend of December 14th. I think we just go for it here. I've got two prizes remaining. The Versus Seeker should be in the deck. Uh, I think, uh, yep. I think we, oh, this guy's got free retreat. There we go. So we'll promote him, and yeah, let's see what we got here. Is the card that I want in the deck? Let's take a look. If not, uh, my opponent... He's only got two prizes remaining. They could just win if that last verse seeker is not in the deck. So we need to, you know, kind of tread carefully here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just prop once. Actually, yeah, no, let's not prop. I actually think I just want to thin my deck as much as I can because I need to, you know, just be, yeah, yeah, let's ultra ball away these guys. My opponent's got that many prizes remaining. Is verse seeker in the deck? It is in the deck. Okay, so we're good. We just need to make it happen at this point. So I'll grab the Combi, that's, or I'll grab the Zeb Strika. See, I got Rescue Stretcher. Doesn't actually matter. I'll grab Combi. Combi, Combi, Combi. All right, there we go. Now we can uh, attach the double colorless energy, and then I think the way that we have the highest chances of finding the card we need is to go and let loose here and then see some more cards that way. Yeah, so we're going to grab that. Gonna let loose and see a bunch more cards and then we're gonna sprint i think yeah we don't have like a ton of cards in deck so like we should see most of our deck here to allow us to either find the versus seeker or the computer search or both so we got it there and we can hit the guzma for game super cool stuff the deck actually you know like when it plays against a deck that's straightforward just like itself you know obviously vespa queen can beat a deck that's just straightforward and attacks right like that's all vespa queen does it's just straightforward and it attacks but when you start to get into decks that just like kind of manipulate the strategy that you're trying to pull off or kind of just mess with your strategy at all vespa queen has a hard time kind of uh, adapting to the situation at hand you know when you're being just sniped or item locked and things like that these are all things that vespa queen has traditionally struggled with and still kind of struggles with in expanded format especially when your energy is getting lost zone i'm telling you faba is insane in expanded format watch out for faba this is the list that i'm working with like i said you could throw the town flames in here as well that's like kind of a cute little idea and man, it works fine teammates is really good don't play without teammates you know executes really good probably don't play without execute either so probably don't play with town flames probably the best way to go but you don't really need flareon in here i know flareon you know could work in this deck i just don't really think that you need it uh, you could play Silent Labs in here to help with, like, Shuckle and, you know, that uh, Aegislash, you know, whatever with that Aegislash EX. But that's it for Vespa Queen Zeb Strika. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub the channel, ring that bell. Let me know what you guys think of Vespa Queen Zeb Strika in the comments below. Make sure to check out information in the details below in the description below about the art contest that i'm hope that i am hosting hundred dollars to the grand winner of that check out fullgripgames.com for all your gaming needs as well peace